Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about one-step equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, negative 17x equals a negative 204. So, negative 17x divided by, or sorry, equals a negative 204. Well, that's multiplication right here, right? So, I got ahead of myself. Opposite multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 17. On the left-hand side, it cancels out, so we're left with just x, right? The negative 17s cancel. And what's nice is the two negatives here on the right instantly will cancel out and be positive, right? Negative divided by a negative is a positive. Well, 2 of 4, hmm. Can I break that down maybe into something a little easier to see to, to uh, I don't know, like what numbers go into it? Well, let's think about it here, Okay. 204, let's go break it down to see if I can get something with a 17 and it might cancel out. The 17 is prime, so I can't break that one down. Well, 204, simple, is just 2 and 102. 102 is 2 and, what is that, 51? 51, 51, oh. Does anything go into 51? Does anything go into 51? Does 3? 3 goes into 51, right? So 3, well 3, if you don't know, so 3 goes into 51, we can do it right here. 3 goes into 5, uh, two, one time. <laughs> 3, we subtract them, we get 2, we use the nutrition method to bring out the 1, and then 3 goes into 21, 7 times, oh, there we go, 7 times 3 is 21, 0, we're done. So 3 and 17, okay? So 3 and 17 here are at the end. So now if I multiply it out, 204, I can rewrite it to be 2 times 2 times 3 times 17, all over 17. This makes it easy. The 17 will cancel. So now we're left with 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. And so x equals 12 is our final answer. So let's recap. We start with negative 17, x equals 204. I div or negative 204. I divided a negative 17 on both sides, so that would be opposite multiplication. And what we have left here on the on the left side is just x. The negative 17 is cancel. On the right, I knew that two negatives, a negative divided by negative is a positive, so I wrote that there. I saw that 17. I didn't really know how 17 went into uh, 20 off the top of my head. So the way I kind of thought about it was, okay, we'll kind of break down. Uh, I'm sorry, 17 into 204. So I said, okay, I'll kind of break down 204. I know 2 went into 204, so I have 2 and 102. 2 goes into 102 because it's also even. So that was 51. And then I said, okay, well, 51. I knew that uh, 3 uh, went into 51. And so I said, okay, how can we do that? Uh, I don't know what, how many times, though. And so 3 goes into 51, 3 and 5, uh, 3 and 5, 1 time 3 here. And then 1, uh, so I subtract, we get 2. Bring down the 1, 3 goes into 21, 7 times, we have 21, and they cancel. And so now we're left with 2 times 2 times 3 times 17 over 17. The 17s cancel, pretty easy, so 2 times 2 times 3 came out to be 12. Now, you could have done long division for, at this point here, it might have been easier, to be honest, to do that. But you can see how there's many ways to, to solve this problem. Yeah. But uh, 17 and 20, 204 shouldn't be too hard of a long division problem. So, anyway, our final answer here is x equals 